Hey guys, it's KJ from Disney Mom Life. Welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are decorating all 10 of our Christmas trees. Yes, I said 10. We have seven trees that are seven and a half feet, two trees that are six feet, and one four foot tree. Each of our trees has a different theme. This year we added four new trees, so that meant figuring out four new themes. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a theme for your Christmas tree, and if so, let me know what those themes are. We are always looking for new themes for future years. If you are new to our channel, we'd love to share decorating videos, shop with me videos, homemaking videos, so things like cleaning, organizing, and some fun snack ideas, usually related to whatever season we are in. So right now, you'll see a lot of Grinch and Rudolph type treats. And starting next week, we will return to putting out our Disney videos on Wednesdays. John and I are both Disney cast members. We love sharing Disney tips and tricks, especially as it relates to taking our two toddlers to Disney. If you like any of those things and you are not already subscribed, we would love for you to subscribe and join our YouTube fam. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the new year and we would so appreciate your help in getting us there. The first trees we will be decorating are two pencil trees that flank our front door. I went with the black and white buffalo plaid theme for these trees. I got most of the decorations for them from Walmart, the Dollar Tree, and a few things from Hobby Lobby. I ended up not using everything seen here. One tip I have for you, don't remove the price tags until you are 100% certain you are keeping it. I ended up returning several things because I either did not need them or they ended up not fitting my vision once I started to decorate. I know we're only just getting started, but spoiler alert, these might be my favorite trees in the entire house. It is so hard for me to pick favorites, but there is something about the simplicity of these two. I just love the black and white. I think it is so elegant and I just really love it. These trees are from Walmart and they were $80. They're such great quality and I am considering buying more and replacing one or two of my existing trees. They no longer have them in stock, but I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for next year. Our next tree is from Costco. We got it a few years ago. We actually have two of them. We bought the first one for our living room and we loved it so much we went back and bought a second one for our family room. 
It is amazing quality and totally worth the price. We highly, highly recommend. Costco still carries them. They have them in four foot, seven and a half foot, and nine foot. I would love a nine foot tree, but we just don't have a tall enough ceiling for it, unfortunately. For this tree we have mostly shatterproof ornaments all from Walmart. We also have a few glass ornaments which are also from Walmart and one of them uh, I dropped last year and it broke. You can actually catch that in our Christmas Decorate With Me 2021 if you want to go back and watch that. We call this our classic tree because it reminds us of the kind of tree we would see in Christmas books growing up. If you have any suggestions on how we can add to it while still keeping the classic look, let me know in the comments down below. Aside from the Walmart ornaments, we also have some big bulbs from Hobby Lobby and I also got a few picks from Hobby Lobby as well. But like I said, if you have any ideas on how to add to this tree while still keeping the classic look, please let me know in the comments down below because I feel like it still needs a little bit more but I just don't want it to be too over the top. I do like the simplicity of it. When I ordered this four foot tree from Walmart, I thought it was going to be a bit more milder of a pink instead of this neon pink. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the color. Are you all about the traditional green tree or do you have something unique like a pink tree or maybe a white or rose gold tree? I am pretty sure John had a white tree growing up. I will have to have him leave it in the comments down below to confirm. We've had this tree up for about six weeks now and I am still not sure how I feel about it. I like the Nutcracker Ballet theme but I think these ornaments might go better with my pink candy tree that's in our master bedroom. You guys will see that tree shortly. It's a flocked pencil tree with pink candy ornaments and I think if I added the Nutcracker and the ballet dancers to it, it would really bring it together. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this pink tree. Should I leave it as is or should I pick a new theme for it next year and add the Nutcracker ornaments to my pink candy tree? I'm curious what you guys think. Here is the pink candy tree I was referring to. I love this pencil tree for our bedroom. It's the perfect size. It does not take up a ton of space, but it allows us to have that Christmas magic, which is so special. Let me know in the comments down below as you're watching if I should add those Nutcracker Ballet ornaments next year. I'm leaning towards yes, but I would love to know your thoughts. When the bell on the door And then time almost came to a stop But somehow I knew And maybe so did you That everything would change from now on Yes, from this Christmas on Oh
At the time of filming, I could not find the tree topper for this tree anywhere. <laughs> Eventually, I did find it. It was in another tree box. I did buy the topper on Amazon. It is just a pink metal sparkly star. I added fairy lights to it just so it would light up like the rest of the tree. Next week, I will be putting out our Christmas house tour video, and you can see the star along with some other updates we have made since we started decorating all the way back in October. From this Christmas side. This is our classic pencil tree. It doesn't have a major theme. I just liked it because it was small and I thought it filled the space nicely. Funny thing though about the ornaments, I bought them at Walmart two years ago in December and at that time it was only two or three weeks before Christmas. By then so much of the Christmas decor had been picked over and you basically get what you get. These were like the only ornaments they had left and I was not crazy about them at all but I picked them up just so I had something. Oddly enough, they have grown on me over the past two years and I think they fit this tree really nicely. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this look or if you have another idea for this tree. You guys know I always love hearing your feedback. When the bell on the door jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop But somehow I knew And maybe so did you Here is a look at the baby <laughs> and all of the decorations I have, the ornaments I have for my gingerbread tree. So let's start with what I had from last year. I got these foam gingerbreads from Dollar Tree last year. I used my Cricut to make their little faces and put our names on them. Then I used some puff paint to put the icing on and I got these bows from Dollar Tree to put the little hair bow and the bow tie on. And then I used some yarn from Dollar Tree. I think I just like taped it on the back. Maybe, maybe that's what I did. Let's see, yeah, I just like taped it on the back and that's what held it on and it worked perfectly. Then over here, I got these ornaments from Amazon. They kind of remind me of like creepy crawlers, like that kind of, I don't know, like material. And then these three gingerbread houses are from Walmart that I got last year. These bulbs are from Walmart from last year. That's the baby if you hear him. Oh, he found his ball. <laughs> and what'd you find, bud? What'd you find? You found your soccer ball? Yeah? You want to show everybody? He's ready for Christmas. He's got his Christmas PJs on. Here you go, buddy. And then let's get back to the ornaments. I got these ribbon from Dollar Tree last year. Not sure if I'm going to use them this year, but probably. We'll see. Then I got these candy canes, probably from Dollar Tree or Walmart last year. These ornaments from Walmart last year. I love them. They're like the little gingerbread cookie cutters with the gingerbread inside. And the last thing I have from last year is this little gingerbread photo ornament that with Winnie's picture from last year and that I got at Dollar Tree. And moving on to what I got this year, I got these gingerbread houses from Walmart. They came with a set of four for $7.98 and I'll show you guys the, so that's these two. And then on the back here, I just had to put it down so I could like reposition my hand. So this one has Santa and a gingerbread and this one has a snowman and a gingerbread. And then this garland I got last year, well actually technically like January of this year from Michaels. It was $12.99 but I got it for 90% off which is a crazy steal. And then I got this also from Michaels earlier this year. I think they were $1.99. Yeah, and then I got it for 90% off. So it was like 20 cents. I got a whole bunch of them. 
And then I got these this year from Walmart. They were $2.98 each, I believe. $2.48 each, okay. And again, the baby's just kind of hanging out, making noise, so sorry about that. <laughs> Mom life, right guys? So I have these little gingerbread folks here. I got this one, and I got this one over here, and then this one has the spatula and the whisk. I thought were really cute. So I only got one of each of these. I'm debating if I should have gotten more or if I'll use them at all because I do, as you can see, like to have multiple of things. So we'll see if I end up using any of these or if I end up getting more. And then this is what I was most excited about this year. It seems silly, but I got these at Dollar Tree. They had them last year too, but I could not find them anywhere. Maybe I was looking too late. I don't know, but I found them in early October and I grabbed, I think, I think I have six of them here. So I grabbed six of them. Now, last year they were a dollar. Dollar Tree was still a dollar. Now it's a dollar 25 per item. So, I mean, you're still getting them for 75 cents as opposed to 50 cents. So it stinks a little bit, but it is what it is. I was just excited to find them. So I got a bunch of these and I love that they have the candy canes as well. I also got, well, those hooks are from last year, but I did get new hooks, which I'll get to in a minute. Then I got these from Hobby Lobby. These were 250, well, I guess they were 499 and then they were on sale for 50% off, so 250 each. These are little gingerbread snowflakes that I think are so cute, so I got two of those. And then I got these, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these. I think I am, but I'm not positive yet. Again, 4.99 before, oh, these were 5.99, my bad. These little guys were 5.99. So they were, ended up being $3 each. And then they had the little snow, the little snow, the little gingerbread folk on the bottom, the little houses, the candy cane, and these stockings. So not sure I'm gonna keep these. I definitely think I wanna use the snowflakes, so we shall see. From this Christmas The thing I love about this tree is that I can always add to it. I feel like gingerbread ornaments are timeless. Now that I have a good base, I am hoping to add one or two new ornaments to this tree every year and make it like a tradition, I guess. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you have any similar traditions. that is going on the tree because we have to do it in two ways. Johnny has some up still in the attic that we have to get down, but it just would overtake the dining room table. So we're gonna do one half and then we'll do the other. So these, I made all of these. So for those of you who are Disney fans that don't know what to do with your buttons, I take two of the buttons and I just like hot glue them and put a string in the middle and can then hang them on my tree. We have a bunch of like picture ornaments. These Disney ones are from working for the Walt Disney Company. John and I are both cast members, so I have a few of those. And then this is actually from 1989, vintage Disney ornament. <laughs> I have some with pictures. We have a lot of the, there's a certain, I forget what they're called. John, do you remember what they're called? I think it looks like it starts with an S. 
like the sketchbook. We get a lot of the sketchbook ornaments here when he was turning them around. We got Jack and Elsa. Some of them I still have to put pictures in even though they're like from 2019, 2018. This is super vintage from like, I don't know, the 90s maybe. This was my mom or like my family. So let's move on. Here she is here. My mom gave that to me last year. I have a lot of the hats, the princess hats here. But what I have a ton of are the princess shoes. I don't think they make these anymore. I feel like they haven't made them in years, but I collected them like a while ago. So I have a whole bunch of those. Then I have a few that I got this year. We did do a haul not that long. Well, it's probably a few months ago now, maybe back in August of what we got at Disney. Like the Sanderson sisters here. We did get this one on our last trip back in August. Another Skyliner. And this one, oh, I have another, oh, here, this guy right here. So this Skyliner ornament here, well, it's actually not an ornament. Even if it's like the bench inside, isn't that cool? This is like something you can hang, but we bought it and I'm just gonna put a hook on it. We got it a few years ago, but then never actually hung it up, but I'm just gonna attach a hook to it and do that. We have this one from this year's Halloween party, Not So Scary Mickey's. This is a new one, a new sketchbook we got. Also got a figment from Food and Wine. Then I have a whole bunch that are not Disney back here. I have, you can see I, I like dachshunds, so I have a few dachshunds here for my Squiggy. Then I have Mr. Matt, because we're Matt fans, and just, just some other odds and ends. And Winnie's hand, look how tiny it was. Yeah, your hand was so tiny. Yeah, you were so tiny. So yeah, this is just the first wave of ornaments. We're gonna get to getting on the tree. Hey with you, mm-mm, so beautiful. Kissing on a mistletoe, baby with you. And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with Falling down and every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you And drink 
more chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and joy. a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe Baby with you, with you. I don't need you. any presents As long as I spend this day with you things here we have our little elves when he's actually has hers right now and the baby has his as well but I made them last year they're just from the Dollar Tree and then I use my Cricut to personalize them that's mine and then John's is over here and as I said the kids took theirs but they do sit in the tree so I just think that for I mean I got them for a dollar last year now they would be a dollar 25 I mean I think they're so cute to sit in your tree or to do whatever you want with I think they'd be cute little present toppers if you have a Cricut or you can get like iron on stickers uh, from the Dollar Tree, so you could do it for like less than three dollars. Do something cute like this. Like I said, it could either be an ornament type thing like this or a present hopper, but for under three bucks, I think they're so cute. And the last thing I want to show you is our tree skirt down here. We've had this for a few years now, since before I think we were married. And we have Chip and Dale over here. We have Mickey and Minnie with the snowman, the Winthrops, and then over here we have. Pluto with the ornaments on his nose. So we really love this tree skirt. And I know tree collars are kind of in right now too, but this one, you guys know we love Disney and it's our Disney tree. So it really does go with the overall theme here. So there's a look, ain't she pretty? These are all the ornaments and decorations for my red buffalo plaid check tree if you didn't get the theme based on what you're seeing. Everything is from Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Target, and maybe a few others sprinkled in. I think I made this from Michael's. It was two different pieces, and I glued them together. Those are from Dollar Tree. These are from Dollar Tree. Those are from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I think that's Target. I think that's Walmart. Dollar Tree, Walmart. These are Target. But yeah, mostly everything is from Target, Walmart, or Dollar Tree. I believe this is from Walmart. Those ornaments are from Walmart. The ribbon, I think, is from Walmart as well. So let's get to decorating. I've been waiting for so long for you. But now I got a plan. I know just what to do. I found this ribbon at Dollar Tree this year. It matches perfectly. I was so happy I was able to find it. 
Fun fact, this was the first pencil tree I ever bought. I bought it three years ago and became obsessed. I ended up buying two more pencil trees that year. Then I skipped last year, but this year I ended up buying three more. So now we have six pencil trees total. I am so tempted to upgrade this one for a one that's a little bit more sturdy. Not sure what I would do with this one in that case. One way or another, I would find a place for it though, I am sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you are a fan of pencil trees. This year I decided to put a tree up in our office since I currently am working from home. I spend most of my day sitting at my desk so I decided I wanted to decorate the office, right? Why not? This tree we got two years ago from Walmart. It was only $30. It's not pre-lit but we decided to get it anyway since we had some extra lights. This is the first year I am decorating it with the snow theme. Last year I decorated it with the pink candy theme which you saw earlier in our master bedroom. I ended up putting a pencil tree back in our bedroom because it just takes up less space. So. I moved this tree down into our office and it really is the perfect size for this space. I love the snowflake theme. All of the ornaments are from Walmart except for the giant snowflakes. Those are from Dollar Tree from a few years ago. But I love all of the blues and the whites and the silvers. I just think it is so pretty and I really do enjoy working down here and having some Christmas magic all day long. I hope you enjoyed decorating all 10 of our Christmas trees with us. I do have one more 4 foot tree that I ended up not putting out this year. I wanted to put it in our garage since we do use it as a game room. Hopefully I can do that next year. If you have any ideas for a theme for a 4 foot tree, please let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching today. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, ding that notification bell, and leave us a comment. Which was your favorite tree? And also, leave me a Christmas tree emoji in the comments down below if you made it this far. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!